Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 11th, 12th, and 13th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Now, you know I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, Angel Tarot cards for the main message, my Archangel Power Tarot cards, I'll pull one, and I'll pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal cards. Now, I've prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. Open myself to higher power, whatever the message. My job, just deliver it. Now, we have three cards face down. First one's reversed. Strong energy. Next week, we have a lot of strong energy. On the, okay, the 14th, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. It's going to like burn, it's like, I feel like it burns the haze. Um, we have then Venus in Sagittarius on the 15th. The 17th, we have Saturn going into Aquarius. And then the 19th, we have Jupiter going into Aquarius. That's going to be transformational. That's going to be, you know, this, this is going to be really big type of energy. And we have to put out the positive so that we can get the positive back with this. Okay? Okay. So anyway, let's see what we have for my Libras for the weekend. Here we go. First card, Seven of Earth. Now, this is reverse, so it's strong energy here. So it's a little bit more than what, you know, just, just just normal, okay? So there's there's really an emphasis on this. Now, sevens have that umbrella, that divine type of umbrella. So this is kind of a blessing. Earth energy is our Capricorn, it's our Taurus, it's also our Virgo, it's, it's, it's solid, something, someone you can touch. Money, money, job, it could also be your home. But I feel like this is like a blessing, like that you've been putting a lot of energy possibly into your home, um, I don't know if you have then increased its value with what you've been doing, but if you're looking to sell your home, you may find that you can ask a little bit more money if that's what it is. Or it could be that you've been putting a lot of energy into your career or your work or your job or just in your family. But it's kind of like one of these things. It's kind of like a blessing in saying that your energy, what you've been putting into it, has been noticed by, you know, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine archangels. And it's kind of like there's a blessing with this. So my Libras, I want you to, I, I hope that you'll feel that. And when you do, you accept that because it's kind of like there's, you know, it's like, it, you know, and it could even be that things are coming into a better balance for you. You know, because we've had a lot of very ups and downs, shaky type of Libra energy when we were in Libra. But you might find that, you know, that this kind of has even a calmness to it for this weekend. But it's something that you like, you nurture it, you want it. I feel like this is like a plant that's been waiting, like, like, you've been, like you're a plant that's been waiting to be watered, okay? And the nice, you're not being overly watered, but you're being given what you need and you get, you know, and you can like go, oh, I can breathe again. Okay, so I feel like you can breathe again. Now, the seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Next card, here we go. Renewal. So this kind of goes along with that blessing. This, you know, 20s, so 22 to 2. Crossroads, two tens, transition, decision making, but at the same time, renewal, it's, it's just kind of like it's, oh, I can breathe again. It, you know, it, it's like, it's like things are ha lightening up again. So I think that you're probably, I, a lot of people are going to be feeling this trans, this, this energy of next week, this Jup Saturn and Jupiter thing, and then the new moon, all of this. But it's almost like I said, it's almost like you're a drop, you've been a plant that's been starved for water and you're feeling that water coming. So I'm liking the energy for this. I'm liking the energy. I'm thinking that this is one of those, those weekends that 
if you're wanting to start on anything new, this is a good time to start on something new, a new project, a new, you know, new whatever it is that you're thinking. Um, I don't necessarily think it's a new job. It might be the job that you actually have, but I think it's kind of a new interest, a new, a new, um, you know, I don't know, maybe it's a new class, but it's something that it's a new, re, it's a redirection, a new direction in um, something that has been, that you, that, Something it, it's an it's a huh. it's it's a new direction. There's a new direction with this energy here. So let's see. This is Archangel Jeremiah. So remember his name. Okay. Review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Okay. Next card here is the King of Fire. Now, Kings have an underlying energy. All kings have the air energy, your energy. So there's a lot of wisdom with the kings. You bring, your energy has a lot of wisdom. Fire energy now is Sagittarius. It's also Aries. It's also Leo. And, you know, remember, in Sagittarius, we've got that new moon and Venus, you know, that's moving into Sagittarius. So there's, so that, that's a, you know, Venus is yours. You know, you own Venus. And so there's there's this passion, there's this burning, you know. So there there is this sense of rightness. There's this sense of again new adventure type of energy here. So again, just like I feel like you can breathe again, like there's this new sense, there's new new direction, there's new there's new. You know, I, I would almost say you know you're you you have relit that fire. This is a good weekend for you. And again, if there's a new, if there's something that you've been wanting to do, something that you've been wanting to try, this is a good weekend for you to investigate that. Okay. Anyway, King of Fire, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So yeah. I, again, I just feel that this is, this is, there's um, initiative here. There is, um, oh, what is the word that I want for this? Um, it's not just ambition, ambition. Uh, the, re, you know, renewal is there. It, it's just this, it's just this, like, it's like you're, you know, it, it's reset, reset, um, it, it, there's just an excitement with this. There's an excitement with this weekend here. And a lot of it has to do with what's happening next week, next week and you're picking that up. You're picking it up a lot. And it's, it, it, it's, it's getting you, it, it's getting you, um, you know, it's, it's pulling up your optimism again. Okay, this one is reversed. Here we go. Nine of Raphael. Nine of Raphael. So this whole thing is, you know, okay, Raphael water energy. Now you might know this as, you know, nine of cups, nine of Raphael. This is the wish card. So there's a total sense of optimism for you. This is a time to put this out there, you know, and again, a lot of it is this, this transit, this Saturn and Jupiter, you know, there, I mean, there's a couple of ways that we can look into that, but you know, and, and one of the ways that I'm looking is that this is going to be a positive transformational time. And the wish card comes to you. So make a wish. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. So all very powerful, very positive. And like I said, that seven of earth, it's like a blessing. It's like you're finally getting your thirst quenched. It, you know, you're, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, you've been waiting. And so let's, let's, let's claim this one. Let's claim this one. Let's go ahead and see. If there's a crystal or what crystal might be helpful this weekend for you. Not telling you to go buy it. This is reversed. Lapis lazuli. Ooh, I do not have this, but this is good. Prophetic dreams. So keep it at your bedside if you do have this. Releasing anger. And I think that that's very important for you, my Libras. I need, I think, because you don't like to hold on to it, but you. Do. but once it's there... It's like you have a hard time getting rid of it. Serenity, grace. So even though I don't have that, and I have no idea if it's expensive or not, it does sound like a nice one to have. Anyway, my Libras, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button, like, share, subscribe, 
As always, my Libras, know that you're loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.